today in the neighborhood, Vikings fans. It's your announcer, Paul Allen. It is pick six time. You see the disheveled look right here. I have a theme, okay? I have a theme. Let's begin with the pick six. First, Kyle and White Bear Lake. Uh, paraphrasing Justin Jefferson, Jeff Gladney, immediate starters. Uh, the answer, I believe absolutely yes. Now, we're going to get into position battles later. And Gladney, a first-round pick, I believe, when they do play games, plays early, often, and is effective. Jefferson, absolutely. Here's the theme. I'm going to wear this hat for, uh, for uh, number two in the pick six because this is my Kentucky Derby hat. And first Saturday in May, we had no Kentucky Derby. So this is symbolic of the pick six and uh, God rest the May soul of the 2020 Kentucky Derby. Uh, this is uh, Zach and Alexandria. Uh, Zach, uh, of all the players on day three, uh, which one excites me most? I'd go with uh, Baylor defensive lineman James Lynch. Relentless and very effective. Now, when kids come into the NFL, and they run into these 28 to 32 year old men, specifically in the trenches, and they're nearing the ends of their careers and they're squeezing for every possible thing they have. Kids gotta get through that because these are grown men and, and they care about their profession. Very good question. Uh, Grant in Cedar Rapids, number three, new hat. We're gonna go from that hat to Skull Vikings, do 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 do. Okay, and I'm doing that to cover the hair because it's so out of control, by the way. Uh, Grant, thank you. Exciting position battles when they do gather. Cornerback, right to the top of the list for me. Uh, Mike Hughes, Holton Hill, Chris Boyd, Jeff Gladney, Cameron Dantzler, Harrison Hand, and the list goes on. <laughs> it's the land of opportunity. Who wants to grab it? Also, uh, the defensive line with uh, with the highly touted new guys, Michael Pierce, a new defensive tackle. Uh, that whole thing is going to be very compelling to me. All right, number four, uh, second half of the uh, pick six, new hats, Cole Vikings, to cover uh, the shutdown hair. Uh, it is Jill in Golden, Colorado. Wants an Eric Wilson update, second round tender. Somebody asking about Eric Wilson. A great college free agent find, by the way, by this team from Cincinnati. Um, I bet a lot of money he'll be on the team next year and he will help because that's what Eric Wilson does. Hat change. Scott Clayton, uh, the penultimate for the pick six. Percy Harvin wants to return to the NFL. Uh, he was like running in some ramp or something. And he wants to come back. Looks great too. See those abs? Percy, I haven't felt my ribs in 30 years and you have washboard abs. Well done. What about the Vikings? Can't speak for the team on that one. I think it's a super, 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 super long shot. He was here, traded, um, you know, and there are just other options right now. Very good one. And the final hat will give us a hope for Vikings training camp and summer because this is the uh, the bucket that I will wear during summer to, to protect um, this weathered face. Uh, number six is Kells from Pompano, Florida. Uh, the Vikings seem to be underrated next season. Do they do their best uh, when people doubt them? Zimmer likes it that way. Zimmer likes to be, he likes to fly under the radar with his squad, so maybe that's the case. I don't see them as underrated. Quarterback's incredibly good. Running back's one of the best in the game. So is Thielen. They won a playoff game last year. Expectations should be high for the 2020 Minnesota Vikings. Paul Allen, your announcer, pick6.com, excuse me, vikings.com slash pick6. If you would like your question read, and who knows, maybe I'll even do it without a hat.